Jordan times two. Fall is here, so you know what that means. Pumpkin spice lattes. Hey, what's up, Hans family? Uh, today I have a little bit of a different video for you. I'm doing a beauty collab with the amazing Jordan Bone. She is so wonderful, such a beautiful, inspirational soul. So please go check her out if you haven't already. If you're here from her channel, thank you for coming to check me out as well. Uh, we did a fall inspired look. She focused on the eyes and I focused on the lips. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. There's no point in showing you guys my foundation contour and my eyebrows. I have different tutorials for all of those, which I will link down below. So if you're curious how I do one of these, go check that shit out. Since we're moving into fall, you know, maybe some of us are missing that summer glowy skin a little bit. So um, I am going to do a ton, a ton, a ton of highlighting. I'm going to be using the, oh, ooh, you can see me. Ooh, it's like cameraception. This is the Gerard Cosmetic Star Powder in Marilyn. Then using a Sigma Taper Highlighter Brush, we're going to put this all on top of our cheekbones, and it kind of gives you a very golden sheen. I wanted to stay with warmer colors, so this is very golden and pretty. So I want to highlight my cupid's bow, my nose, a little bit on my chin. Basically highlight the high points of your face. I don't like going too far into my forehead because I like keeping the highlighting on my sides, mainly because I don't really want a super greasy looking forehead, but you know, to each their own. Since we are going a little bit more with the shimmery theme, I am going to be using a fuck ton of this Makeup Geek eyeshadow called Shimma Shimma. It is one of my favorites. My other favorite from Makeup Geek is definitely Bitten, that deep, delicious maroon shadow that you guys know I love, but this one is wonderful. I wish you could see it better. It's so shimmery and beautiful. So taking an actual Another Makeup Geek brush, this is their Defined Crease Brush. I'm going to add in a little bit of Fix Plus. You could do this with water, whatever you choose to do, just to wet the eyeshadow because that'll make it more intense. And I want to really just pack it in the corner of my eye. That's going to open up your eyes and make them just look wide and bright and beautiful. You wouldn't have to wet the eyeshadow, but if you do wet it, it just does make it a little more intense. Be careful too to just kind of, you do want to blend it out a little bit. You don't want to see any really harsh lines of it. So really pack it on and then blend that shit out. For the rest of the eyelid, I want to keep it super simple, super soft. So I'm taking a Sigma E38 brush and Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek. I'm just going to lightly put this all over my lid. It's pretty much like my skin color, so it will basically just blend in, but it'll just kind of matte it out a little bit and keep any of my foundation from creasing. Also going to take the Shimma Shimma and I'm just going to add the tiniest bit of highlight to my brow bone. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, why lie? Not a tiny bit. I'm going to do quite a bit. Let's be honest here. Then just use your favorite black mascara and coat your eyelashes, top and bottom. I'm using the NYX More To Love, mainly because I have a fuck ton of it from the NYX Face Awards. You could totally stop here and not put on false lashes, but I'm a lashes kind of bitch, so I'm taking the Velour Lashes in Girl You Crazy. Make sure if you are using false lashes to always kind of measure them to your eye. These are obviously way too big. I usually like to cut mine and not go any farther than maybe pretty much the end of my iris if I'm looking forward. I hate if lashes are in the inner corner because it bothers my eyes and I just end up getting watery eyes and blinking them off and I just want to go and cry in a corner. I start by putting them in the center, just kind of resting it there for a second. And then I pull, ooh. Then I pull that corner down. I didn't quite cut these as short as I'd like, but and then voila, got your eyelashes on. So that is gonna be just for the eyes. I wanted to do it very, very simple. So now onto the lips. So for the fall statement lips, I wanted to do something that's my favorite rose color, which is kind of a dusty orange. 
uh, rose and I think they're beautiful and kind of wilted so they have browns they have oranges in them and I think they're beautiful and those is, are exactly what I think of when I think of fall so my lips are good and prepped I always prep them with this bite uh, lip and define thing it pretty much like plumps moisturizes all that shit I actually started using this after I found out that Depeche girl does and her lips are just amazing so I was like oh I need that in my life too so yeah, the shit's the best. We're gonna start with Anastasia's uh, Spicy Liquid Lipstick and just put that all over our lips because we are going for a kind of orange, dusty rose feel. You know when you're overlining your lips and then you like overline it and you're like, what the fuck did I just do? Yup. Whatever, that's what concealer's for. Concealer saves lives. Nope. So we're going to use the ColourPop Pitch Pencil. And it's a nice dark brown, so you can use whatever. And then line these bad boys. I am towards the inner corners, bringing the pencil in just a little bit. Okay, so now that you kind of almost look like a chola, fucking 505 represent. I'm gonna take this Makeup Geek brush that we used earlier to pack on our sexy highlight and you're just going to use it to blend the brown into the orange. After that's all blended out, I'm just going to add a little bit more just the very outline of the lips. Because basically what we just put down, we pretty much blended completely out. So now we're just kind of darkening it back up, just like you do with a smoky eye. You put a lot down and then you blend it out and then you add more until you get that desired darkness. And just blend it again. Now once you have the desired effect, we are going to use a MAC 263 brush, one of my favorite brushes to clean up with, and concealer of your choice. I use the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in my color Chantilly because I'm pale as shit. And then I just put down some concealer and make sure to wipe off your brush after every time that you lay down concealer because your brush picks up that excess color. And if you just immediately keep brushing with your brush, you'll just kind of get a weird orangey skin colored outline. If you've watched my overlining lips tutorial, then you know this trick well. I do this every time I wear lipstick because almost all the time I always overlay my lips. I get some Makeup Forever Translucent Powder or HD powder. You have to use whatever translucent powder though. Um, and put it all over my lips. This will one, really mattify the lipstick, but it will also pretty much make the whole consistency of the lips and the skin around my lips the same texture so that the line of my lips doesn't pop out quite as much. For the last thing, I did want to add in some copper because copper also reminds me of fall. It's one of my favorite colors ever. So I'm using this amazing, amazing loose pigment by Makeup Geek that's called Vegas Lights. It is the shit. And I am going to use that same defined crease brush from Makeup Geek 
And we're just going to put this gently all over our Cupid's bow. Start light and then just kind of blend it out and then add more as you go. And this is the final look. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I hope you wear this out fall, summer, whenever. But this was just kind of my rendition of a different toned fall lip. Make sure to go check out Jordan's channel. She's so amazing and inspirational. She's such a badass chick. So go check her out and subscribe. And please uh, give me a thumbs up and tell me what you think about this look. Until next time.